the homeowners are two professionals with a young family, and they hired me to renovate in greater part their entire house. But the kitchen was a very special aspect to the space. There was a lot of effort put into creating a very unique environment for them. They wanted a very bistro-like feel, and I think we're able to achieve that. The space was a bit smaller originally. There was a large pantry and a closet just as you entered. It created a bit of a hallway effect and the kitchen was about uh, two thirds the size of what it is today. So the first decision was really to remove those two partitions, make the space larger and try to utilize as much of the space as possible. It wasn't a very large space, so we had to be very careful as to how we we're going to incorporate that island. How do you circulate around it? Having a comfortable space where the kids could do homework at the island, they could participate in the cooking activities. Just a relaxed environment where you can have guests and socialize. It kind of made sense to keep the cooking area on the one side, create a small niche on the other side for small appliances, coffee maker and so on, and really create this island as a central focal point of the space. I think to create a timeless appeal, it ends up being more about a layered effect. Almost as if these different elements would take place over a longer period of time. Much like how the framed art pieces overlap the paneling on the wall. So it's almost as if those two things happened at separate times. And I think that adds a nice depth to the design. A white kitchen can sometimes feel formal. I think the layering of different patterns in the space and the different textures does make it a little bit more approachable. You almost feel like you want to engage with it. You want to try to experience this banquet. You want to sit at the stools. You want to come closer to the artwork and kind of examine them. You don't get that same sense of you're part of a cooking prep area. You get more of a feeling like you're in a lounge or in a bar. The clients spend a lot of time in the kitchen. They love cooking and I think it just ends up being a space that can be used both for the young ones and for your friends. It works well on a number of levels. I think it makes for a successful design.